Summer 2015 has arrived and here at the Weather Network UK we've been taking a look at what we expect the weather to be like over the next three months. But before we delve into that all-important forecast, let's take a quick look at what a typical British summer brings. Now in terms of temperature, we usually get highs in the low to mid-twenties across England and Wales, always a little bit cooler further north across Scotland and Northern Ireland. But bear in mind these are just average temperatures. Some, some days are typically warmer than this and some days a little bit cooler. And in terms of rainfall, we usually get rain one in three days during the summer, with always the wetter conditions across Scotland and Northern Ireland. And over the last five summers, we've had a fairly mixed bag, with rainfall fairly above average on most summers. And in particular, 2012 was a very wet summer, the second wettest summer on record. Now we've had some warm summers and some cool summers over the last five years and last summer was slightly warmer than average. But what do we expect this summer to bring for the UK? Now in terms of temperature we expect it to be around or slightly cooler than average with those cooler conditions in particular across Scotland and Northern Ireland. But for the rest of Europe it does look like it's going to be much warmer than average in particular across the Mediterranean and towards Eastern Europe too. Now rainfall is a little bit tricky to get the details on at the moment but for Scotland and Northern Ireland and into Norway we do expect it to be slightly wetter than average and wetter too across Central and Southern Europe and down towards Greece and Turkey but it should be drier across Scandinavia and North East Europe too. But what does this all mean for the UK through this summer? At the moment we do expect June to be the driest month with plenty of high pressure around. It will also be fairly warm as well with southeasterly winds dragging in that warm air towards the UK. But as we go through July and August it does look like it's going to turn increasingly unsettled with a greater risk of seeing some rain particularly across Scotland and Northern Ireland with always the driest conditions further south and east. Now if you need any more detail on the weather as we go through the summer Make sure you keep up to date with the Weather Network UK.